So you want to know if you have real silver on your hands. The precious metal has stood the test of time, being used as currency, materials, jewelry, and a store of value. Here are some ways to test your silver at home. If you're interested in how to test gold, check out my other videos. Method number one, the ice cube test. This test requires us to either make or grab some ice cubes. Simply place your silver on a flat surface with a paper towel beneath it to absorb the water from the melted ice cube. As silver is the best conductor of heat, the ice cube should melt quicker than if left on its own. Silver itself won't melt the ice cube as it's simply conducting the heat of the room in which it's placed in. Method number two, we have the all reliable magnet test. Silver, like most precious metals, is not magnetic and should therefore not stick to a magnet when placed beside it. For the best result, use a strong magnet such as a rare earth magnet. Ignore clasps and jewelry as they may contain a metal spring or component that will be magnetic. Method number three, the bleach test. Once again, just like with the ice cube test, place a paper towel beneath the silver piece and wear protective gloves to avoid irritation from the bleach. Put a drop of bleach on your item. Silver stains very fast when exposed to bleach, so if your jewelry turns black on the spot you drop the bleach on, you may have real silver on your hands. If no reaction occurs, the piece is not silver. Method number four, looking for stamps. Look at your supposed silver and look for any markings the piece may contain. You're looking for 925 or sterling, as this is a stamp for sterling silver jewelry. The 925 represents the content of silver within a piece out of 1000. So a piece stamped with 925 contains 92.5% silver. It's important to remember that even if your jewelry passes all these tests, it is still not 100% certain that the piece will be real silver. So if you want to be completely certain, I recommend you seek expert advice.